time to do some detailing today. We got this awesome looking Dodge Challenger here. This is an FRT8, one of those 6.1 liter Hemis. And it's been driving through the rain, getting some road grime on it, getting some dirt. We're gonna clean it off today. So a lot of you guys out there might have these uh, gloss black wheels, like on these Dodge, on these Chevys. Some Mustangs also have them too. And they're often difficult to clean because they can scratch easy and they get dirty. And if they're dirty, they don't look as black. They look gray, dingy, muted. You want that nice gloss look. So I'm gonna show you guys today how to wash it using waterless technology. We're also gonna use our newest wax, black, to make that black gloss finish pop out and really grab that attention. So I'm gonna show you guys a few tips and tricks today on how to clean it waterlessly without damaging your surface to get the best look. So I'm gonna be sitting on the ground while I do this. So I'm gonna use a little old detailer's mechanics trick. I grabbed a cardboard box from the warehouse. Some people might have a little stool to sit on or a bucket, you can use that as well. But when I get real low on the ground, close to a wheel detailing, I like to grab a piece of cardboard, place it on the ground so that means my butt doesn't get all dirty and I stay clean for the rest of the job when I go out on that hot date. So I'm gonna place the cardboard box right down the ground. That gives me a nice place to sit and kneel when I do my job detailing and I don't get my knees or my butt all dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hose for, or my EcoSmart RU. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this to clean the wheel first. That way I'm gonna get a nice clean surface. And if you notice over here, this is a little bit dirty as well. This nasty grimy part. I'm gonna clean that too to make sure I get the best look. So to do that, I'm gonna use our new 16 by 16 edgeless black microfiber towels. These are black. If you notice, they have no edge. so They're not gonna scratch. They're a perfect towel to use with black detailing your black car. Plus when you go to the car show and everybody else has those yellow microfiber towels and you've got black ones, all your car guy friends are gonna be like, hey, where'd you get those towels? They look so cool. You can tell them, hey, I got them at chemicalguys.com. If you need any stuff, pick them up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold my 16 by 16 microfiber towel in fours. I'm gonna grab my EcoSmart RU, which is our waterless wash detailing system. It means I'm gonna use no hose, no buckets, none of that. It's gonna be quick and easy. That means I'm gonna get good results with less effort. I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up real good. First, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this area over here. This is a real, real dirty area. I hope you guys can see how filthy this is. It's road grime, it's right behind the wheel. Stuff gets thrown up on it. It's raining here in Los Angeles today, so this is all real dirty. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my sprayer on, and then I'm gonna go ahead and saturate the surface right here with EcoSmart. And if you see the EcoSmart's already starting to pull off the dirt and debris, I'm gonna take my 16 by 16 microfiber, and I'm gonna wipe in one direction. And notice how it pulled off a lot of that dirt and debris right off the surface to make sure I get a nice look. I'm gonna flip it over because I'm being real careful. This might take a few wipes. We got some road char right here which we're gonna have to clean off using a clay bar or some other type of cleaning agent to go ahead and do that. We might use nonsense or we might use bug and tar remover. I think a clay bar would probably be the best way to take off that road tar. We'll also show you guys how to remove road tar off the vehicle as well. Look at all this stuff that's pulling off the surface. That's heavy, that's real nasty stuff. I'm gonna flip my microfiber towel over to a clean side because I don't wanna be scratching the vehicle as I do that nasty, nasty stuff. But we got this road tar right here and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to remove that later on in the video to get off all this road tar because we wanna make sure that it looks real good as we're going on these road tar spots. So let's move on to the wheels with our microfiber towel. Now we're onto the wheels. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm also gonna clean up here a little bit because I want my work area clean. I want to make sure that I don't have any debris that's going to get in the way. And I want my nice customer to feel cool when he comes and picks up his car at the end of the day. Hopefully we can get these uh, nasty looking tar spots out with the rest of the detailing process. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my towel to a clean side. There we go, a nice clean towel. I'm going to go ahead and take my EcoSmart RU and I'm going to saturate the surface. You'll notice it has all this dirt and debris because you notice how I pulled off the brake dust right there with my finger. You can see the brake dust comes off and exposes nice black surface. So I'm gonna clean it off using EcoSmart. First, I'm gonna saturate the whole wheel itself. There we go, that should be enough just to get me started. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the cleaning process. Get yourself comfortable when you're sitting down and detailing uh, a wheel because if you, if you sit uncomfortably, you can actually harm your body. Uh, detailing is a strenuous job. Ask any professional, it's not easy, it's hard labor. Uh, we try to make it fun here at Chemical Guys, but detailing is some work, you will get a workout. I don't go to the gym, I just detail, it's more fun that way. It's more fun to be at the cars and go to the gym and be around smelly people. So I'm down just to clean cars to get that exercise. You know, even if people don't get exercise, detailing is a great way 
to go out and have fun just like that. Get your little exercise for the day, clean your car, work on yourself. You're getting up and down, and up, getting up and down from detailing wheels can actually uh, you know, work out your body. And look at a lot of detailers, look how fit they are. Um, so if you're getting into detailing, you know, it's a great way to get a hobby, get your exercise, cancel your gym membership, get more chemicalized products. It's easy to do it that way. So I almost got this wheel all cleaned. I'm going to go ahead and grab another microfiber towel uh, because this microfiber towel I'm using right now is almost spent. Spent means that I've used all the open space in the towel and I want to make sure that I get a nice clean look on this wheel. I want to make sure it looks good because I'm going to throw some nice wax on it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this towel over there. I'm going to grab another one. We always have more microfiber towels. Some people always ask, hey, why do you have so many microfiber towels? Microfiber towels are important. They're one of the most important things you can have when detailing your car. They reduce swirls and scratches over the vehicle. You don't have to use any nasty stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start the rest of the process right here. I'm going to go ahead and clean it out easily with the towel. I'm doing a double cleaning on this wheel because this wheel was real dirty. And I also want to clean the brake caliper as well to make sure that looks real good. So I get nice deep down in there. Make sure it looks fresh. Get all that dirt and debris off the wheel. Get that nice fresh black look. I'm not really going to concentrate on the barrel right now because it's actually raining outside. It's going to get dirty again. But if you are concentrating on the barrel, you can do this the same method. But right now, I'm only concentrating on the face of the wheel today just to show you how to clean the wheel. At the end of after cleaning this wheel, I'm going to go ahead and wipe the tire down with EcoSmart as well because I want to put some dressing on the wheel. Maybe I'll use some Forever trim dressing. It's great for tires or maybe a, uh, a G6 Hyper Coat. Maybe whatever I'm feeling like doing. Tire dressings to me are like flavors. Whatever one I'm feeling that week, whatever one I'm feeling that day, I'll go ahead and use, get a nice look for the surface. There we go. Go ahead and spray a little bit more right there. Gonna get this Brembo brake caliper real clean. Even though it's red, and we're cleaning black, and we're talking about black right now, I still want to make sure it looks real clean. Now we've got a nice look. You want to be careful when you're cleaning wheels like this. You don't want to use an abrasive brush. You don't want to use terry cloth because this is black clear coat paint. You want to make sure it looks real good. And we're getting a nice smooth feel, so I know it's going to look real nice when we're finished with this awesome looking wheel. Here we go. We're, we're doing real good right now. I'm going to go ahead and take my EcoSmart and I'm going to saturate my towel, okay, because I don't want to go ahead and mess up my wheel. I'm going to go ahead and clean off this tire. Now, I would go ahead and show you this microfiber towel. Maybe you can see on there, we're getting a lot of dirt and debris off the microfiber towel. But because the microfiber towel is black, it hides a lot of dirt, so it's kind of good for cleaning tires because your towels don't look all black and dingy because they already are black, so it makes life a little bit easier. There we go, cool and easy. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this corner real quick. And now after we do this, we're gonna go ahead and grab our black and throw some black on there. Let's do it. So now we're done with the wheel. It's nice and clean and we're gonna apply some protection to the surface. You can use our wheel guard. It's a great product to use for any color wheel, but this is a gloss black wheel. This car goes to a lot of shows. It lives in Southern California, which isn't really that dirty. So I can actually go ahead and use a beauty wax it's gonna give a nice protection on the wheel. And since it's gloss black, I wanna use our newest wax, black. The Luminous Glow Infusion for black cars. This works on black paint. And since these wheels are black painted uh, clear coat surface, they're not a powder coat or anodized finish, I'm gonna go ahead and apply black to it because it's gonna give that nice rich black look. It's also gonna fight off any contamination that's stuck on the paint. It has UVA and UVB protection built into black. So that means I'm not gonna harm any of the surface. Even though this is for black paint, like if this car was black, I'd be using black on the black paint, but I'm gonna use it on black wheels if it is a painted clear coat. So if you have a painted clear coat black wheel that's gloss, you can go ahead and use this. I wouldn't use this on a matte uh, flat black wheel, but this is gloss black. So this is perfect time to use black because we like to say from the darkest places shines the brightest of light. I'm gonna go ahead and pop open my black. There we go, got our black already, here we go. Black's kinda cool because it's a like a, a pudding type uh, texture. 
That means it's easy to apply and I can scoop it right onto the applicator pad real easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying black to the surface. I'm gonna go put a little bit on my applicator pad and just spread it on the wheel. I wanna make sure I focus not to like get black and any cracks or crevices. It's gonna make it more difficult for me to clean up later. So I'm gonna put a nice cool coat over the surface as I, as I apply it. getting a nice thin coat if we like. Wheels like this are real easy to clean. That's why I like these five spoke wheels. You might remember a video that we did back, I cleaned a, a wheel off my Mustang and that was five spoke. It makes cleaning it real easy. If you got those BDS wheels that are um, mesh design, BDS or a BMW style fives, uh, any type of crazy wheel like that that has a lot of spokes, those will be a little bit harder to clean but if they're gloss black, you can go ahead and use uh, black right on that finish. You can also use black on powder coated if it's a gloss powder coat. You don't want to use black on a flat black powder coat, but if it's gloss powder coat, you can go ahead and use black on it no problem. It's going to give that nice deep look. So when it's rolling down the road, it looks the best it can look. Let's get in all these contours right here and make sure it looks real good. Black's cool because it spreads easy and I chose it for this wheel because black is gonna be easy to remove. And I wanna wax that's easy to remove. I don't wanna be struggling. When I look for a characteristic in wax, I like the characteristics to be easy to use, easy to apply, easy to remove. I don't wanna be putting a lot of muscle into it. I wanna make sure that I get that fresh look right on the paint. Here we go, applied a nice coat of black right over the surface, nice and thin, just how I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna seal up my case make sure I can have it looking good for the next job. And I'm gonna go ahead and wait 20 minutes for black to cure. All I gotta do is wait for the material to bond to the surface. And since this has super polymers built into the solution, it's gonna go ahead and give a nice non-stick gloss magnified surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry for 20 minutes. I'm gonna come back with a microfiber towel and wipe it off. So go grab something to eat and I'll see you in 20 minutes. So now we waited 20 minutes, we're back, and we got this wheel dried to the black on the surface, so that means we're gonna have a nice smooth looking finish. So I grabbed one, another one of our black 16 by 16 edgeless microfiber towels, hottest microfiber towels you can get. I'm gonna go ahead and buff off the black, expose that nice warm surface that we want. Black's cool and I chose black on this because it's easy to remove. It's like effortlessly removes off the surface. It's real nice because when you're using a traditional paste wax or any other liquid wax, any one of those types of products, it actually has to um, fight you to be removed. You have to put some muscle into it when you're removing the product. But black is cool because we formulated it not just with Carnuba wax, but we also incorporated these advanced super polymers into the wax itself. So these super polymers make it real easy to remove once they bond to the surface because all that you're removing from a surface when you remove wax or sealant off a wheel or off paintwork, you're just removing excess. It's nothing on the surface. This wheel feels real smooth. I'm actually very impressed with the results of the black on this wheel. I'm gonna buff it right off. That's one thing we really like about it. It gives a non-stick gloss magnified surface. So it actually uses color enhancers to make the black look super wet. Once I'm done wiping this off, I'm gonna team it with some super wet tire shine to really make that statement when we're driving down a wheel because a car is a statement of who you are. A car tells the world uh, what kind of person you are and it shows the world your, your style and your personality. And this car is a bright orange car that wants to stand out. And the owner probably wants to stand out when he's cruising down Sunset Boulevard. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it look real nice just for him. There we go, got black all removed from the surface and look how nice that wheel looks. It looks just classic looks black and rich. So now this tire does not match the gloss of this wheel. So most of the time you guys know I like water-based dressings like VRP uh, or G6 Hypercoat, but I know this owner wants to stand out. So I'm gonna use something that I like to use when the owner wants to stand out from the crowd. I'm gonna use our new look trim gel. And our trim gel isn't just for trim, it's for tires and rubber as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake up our trim gel and I'm gonna use one of our red UFO applicator pads to apply it because this is a low profile tire and I wanna make sure that I don't get any trim gel on the black wheel. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of trim gel on there. It's clear and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the tire. Get that nice wet look. 
this tire is actually very dry. I don't know when the last time it had dressing applied to it. I'm gonna go have, I'm gonna go ahead and use an extra amount of dressing when I do this because this tire is extra dry and I want that wet, super wet look. Some people like that awesomely wet look. We're out here in Inglewood, California, so we want that awesome wet look that attracts the attention. So I'll put a little more trim gel on there and just put it right on the tire. That's the look I want to get. I want that super wet look today. When you're using any kind of tire wet, people often say, hey, you know, my tire wet is slinging everywhere. That's because they didn't work it in. They just sprayed it on the surface and they didn't take the time to work it in to all the cracks and crevices. I'm gonna actually work this into all the cracks and crevices to make sure that I get that wet look. And then after I work it in, I'm gonna let the trim gel dry to the surface. I'm gonna wait like five, maybe six, seven minutes. And then I'm gonna remove all the excess trim gel uh, by using a microfiber towel. Cause you wanna make sure that you get that nice uh, fresh look. You want it to be shiny, but you don't want that uh, dripping look and you don't wanna use too much. So if you have problems, um, with your tire gel, any company's tire gel, uh, falling off the wheel or slinging, or sometimes you go driving and it flings onto the paint everywhere. You wanna make sure that you work it into the tire like I'm doing. You don't wanna just spread it off and, and, and say goodbye uh, and drive away. You wanna make sure that you spend the time, get it in all the cracks and crevices, especially this type of tire, because this tire has these ridges, as you can hear in my nail grinding against it these ridges actually um, are a little bit challenging when you're dressing a tire, because if you don't work the gel or the dressing into the tire, you won't get that clean look and it'll look blotchy, especially around the letters. So work it in, push it in, get that nice super wet look, because that's what we like here at Chemical Guys. We like ourselves to stand out from the crowd and get it. I'm putting extra thick layer on this to make sure that it looks extra plush, extra good. Give that nice fresh look. There we go. I'm gonna wait five minutes to do this. So I'm gonna go grab some water and I hope you can grab some water too because right after that, we're gonna go ahead and wipe it off, show you the finished result. See you in five minutes. So we're back once again. I waited five minutes because I wanted the trim gel to, to dry to the surface and I wanted it to bond to the surface a little bit more before I wipe it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a, another black 16 by 16 microfiber and I'm gonna go ahead and just gently wipe off the surface. I'm not uh, trying to wipe off the gel. I'm just trying to wipe off any excess to make sure that I get a nice clean look. I want that shine. I want that nice bright uh, gel shine that we get with tire, with tire gel, nice wet look. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe off any excess. There we go. Now our tire looks real fresh, looks real good. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna like the way this looks. And I know the owner's gonna like the way you look as well. And the cool thing is that if you get any on the rim, you can go ahead and easily just wipe it off uh, with a microfiber towel. And that looks real good. Now look at this wheel. This wheel looks real, real nice. Uh, the black face is smooth. It looks real good. Our tire is wet, just like the finish. So we got a wet tire, we got a wet wheel. And it's gonna look real good when this car goes down to the car show, shows off with all those other Mopars and gets that attention. And people are gonna ask, hey, what'd you put on your wheel? Hey, I use chemicalized black and chemicalized trim gel. And everybody's gonna go ahead and uh, go mad over it, because this really does look mad crazy. So if you guys have any more questions about Chemicalized Black, our newest wax designed specifically for black cars and black painted surfaces, and our trim gel, which is designed uh, to make any trim, plastic or rubber look extremely wet, give that wettest look that you can get with any trim gel, you can always check us out on our YouTube, our Facebook account, or you can always find me and all these cool products hanging out at chemicalized.com.